Hello YouTube. So I'm going to do another video on Fennec. And the markets have opened. Fennec has had a, a video conference live feed and I listened to that. And it was uh, a little interesting. I think it added some confidence to everything they're saying. So let's uh, play a little more with this uh, software I'm using. I'll bring my picture down into the corner. Okay, the market's just opened. And we see Fennec here has gone nuts. These are the stocks I'm all following. But Fennec has gone nut nuts. I'm going to go there. And we'll likely see what I've been seeing before for some time. There is this player at, oh, oh, look at that. Somebody's bid at 310. And, oh, that player is gone. There was a player at 272. I keep seeing that 272 popping up all the time. Not sure what that's about. The uh, volume has gone up an awful lot since their conference video. They still have their estimated 93.57. Market capitable cap. Market capitable cap. It all is at 44 million, 45 million, let's say. So you can see when I've done these videos just how much work I spend on companies. And I will spend hours and hours looking up companies. And then I spent another, at least an hour, listening to their video conference. Video conference was interesting. I, I guess, yeah, I'm just looking to see if there's anything more on here to say, other than that we're up. Uh, okay, Fennec will go up and it, it ranges all over the place. This is typical for a company that is such a small valuation. There... There's this, it's like a penny stock, and there's just so few people involved, and it does, it does go all over the place. I'm going to go back to a big picture video here. So, I'm going to talk about Fennec, and, and they had this video conference. The video conference was more about how this is an ethical company, and it's your... It's a moral, ethical position to be purchasing this company. They do really amazing stuff for children. They're going to make children's lives 100% better. He talked about infants. If an infant uh, doesn't have the ability to hear, they very often don't develop proper vocabulary. Uh, this is due to cancer. If you have a if you have cancer and you get this radiation and it, it destroys your ability to hear or your vision, the, the effects are life altering. When you have a child that can't pronounce its vowels, it, socially it can't get along. It can't it can't maneuver in society. Uh, it the child cannot maneuver in society. So having said that, this. Uh, this company made the uh, made their presentation as being a very strong ethical company, and that they were very strong on their on their morals, and they would be uh, morally um, they would they would not defraud us. I mean that was sort of the the position they took. When something does go wrong, they're very quick to make it clear. And then they, they will very quickly try to, instead of hide the facts, they'll try and be very straightforward and open about the facts. They explain that they expect this uh, uh, the product to be approved and to be on the market. They are on the market right now, uh, making about a million dollars in some, I believe was a number I remember. And then the, the thrust of the company should be on the market the somewhere to the end of 2018 is the feel I got from him 
And I think they're trying to be as clear as they can. So the uh, position was more of an ethical, hey, do some good for kids out there. And I think it really went very, very well. It seemed to go very smoothly. They had a question period after, and there was a one tough question about one failure they'd had to put some drug on the market. I wasn't, I didn't quite catch the whole of it, but their position again was, hey, when things went wrong, we were very quick to to make it clear. And I mean, that's all I want as an investor. I know I'm taking risk, but when it's uh, when it's failing, just be clear and tell me that I'm fa that it's failing. Don't don't be deceptive. And I think he's right. I think the um, I think this is a company that they don't work on deception to try and make income, and they don't. Uh, the The product is a legitimate product, and it's uh, working legitimately. The other thing I found interesting was that the U.S. military is using the product currently. I believe it was a U.S. military is used in military application for cyanide poisoning. So it has. Um, and this is the way it was used with cancer as well. If you have cancer, you get your chemo, and then uh, you're poisoned from the chemo. And four hours later, they would give this to children to counter the effect of the poisoning. So it's. I don't want this video to become too long, but I thought their video conference went really, really well. I was thinking I might show you something else here. Now you've seen how much time I spend looking up a stock, and I will how I'll thoroughly go through everything, find out, especially if anybody's on Facebook, I'll try and find that out. I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you how many stocks I'm looking at right now. Let's see if we can reduce this. This is a list of stocks I am currently investigating. So there's Fennec at the top, ne Neolithium. Yeah, like all these companies are ones that I'm I'm currently looking at. Those are fairly current prices on them. It's not that I'm suggesting any of these stocks. I'm not invested in most of the stocks. In fact, I've only invested in well, I'm currently invested in two of the stocks on this list. So I'm not going to tell you which ones, so you have to guess. And I'm not saying invest in them. I'm saying if this is how much research I've done on Finnick, and you've seen the videos I've put out, well, like yesterday, I was telling a guy uh, I had over over a hundred websites I'd gone through in researching some of these companies just yesterday because I had added some new companies like this RDM here that's been added to the list. Normally, I try to keep this list down to five. I'm at 14 now, which is really overwhelming me. But some of them are uh, easy ones. I don't really have to look up Bombardier because I've looked them up before. I've been following them for some time, along with TD Bank. Uh, these are old ones um, on this list here. Uh, is SAS Potash. I really spent a lot of time doing this Neolithium Corp and the RDM Corp. It's not a guarantee these things are going to stay. Uh, Precision Drilling Corp, they're, um, they're staying because I'm, I'm looking at some other stuff. Not that I know that I'm going to invest in them, but I'm wondering whether this controls the price of Essential Energy Services. If this price here and essential there as long as well as horizon north logistics i believe these prices work in a synergy together and if one moves the other might move and that way i could get a faster handle on the price of something in the future this is just to give you an idea of just how much work goes into trying to invest in the markets. It's not a roll the dice and it automatically your win happens. No, you're going to research, you're going to find out 
who is on Facebook. You're going to do your social media, or you're going to go through all the social networks to find the directors of all these different companies. You're going to look and scrutinize over all the details, especially companies like Bombardier. Uh, it used to be Nortel. I would be following them, and I was very, very nervous about Nortel. And they would be investigated. They'd be uh, the there would be uh, 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 charges and stuff. And the moment you're under uh, an audit and an under investigation, I find that suspicious. And it's, it's yes, everybody gets an audit once in a while, but some companies get audited too many times. And too many times means to me that they're suspicious of you. I should be suspicious if they're suspicious. And that's the federal government. They got resources. Anyways, uh, Bombardier, they've been kind of more on the up and up. At one point, they were close to $30 for this Bombardier. And they were doing some stuff that was kind of, uh, They were on the gray area whether you were right or wrong, black or white. They were sitting in the gray areas at, at many times. And you don't want companies that uh, are dishonest. You don't want to be in them for long times for sure. Anyways, this is a list of what I'm looking at. And we've only been, I've only been on the internet about this Fennec Pharmaceuticals, which I have been detailing. Anyways, uh... Have fun watching uh, your stocks. Going back here, having a look. So the bid right now is 310, 324. So at 310, if I, as I understand it, 310 is the bid, and the guy wants there's 10,000 shares, and the asking price is 324. But that's almost 10,000 shares. So we're, we're getting um, 10,000 shares. This is 30,000 some dollars. So we're getting a larger amount now. I'd seen a lot of 400 and... And this is the other odd, odd thing to me. Um, I'm seeing a lot of odd ending numbers, like 9983 instead of 10,000. What, what's up with that? Why... Uh, 17 shares short of 10,000 and that would have why wouldn't you have spent the extra 50 bucks made it 10,000 but that part I don't understand so there's parts of this that aren't making sense to me and when I don't understand something that makes me nervous and I want to pull out of the company and I don't want to be invested in, in a company but this company is making a moral position that's where I am, sort of, yeah, you know, I, I kind of like it. Uh, I like the fact that this will help children and is helping children, proven that it helps children, and they need approval in different markets, but it is proven to work. So thank you, YouTube. My time is almost up. I'd like to do a shout-out. This is an incredible piece of software. I find it's really easy to work with and uh, have fun investing.